So Spitfire Audio, one of my absolute favorite music plugin creators, just dropped a brand new free piano plugin. I haven't got to listen to it yet, but I'm going to review it and give my first impressions right here live with you. So let's get right to it. So if you're new to Spitfire Audio, they are an absolutely groundbreaking, amazing, good, fantastic, great. I love, love their plugins. I am not sponsored by them yet, but I just have a lot of good things to say. I own quite a few of their things. I'm constantly acquiring more. And of course, like most people, my entrance into their stuff was through labs. Now I'm here on spitfireaudio.com. If you're wanting to go grab this, it is completely free spitfireaudio.com here you can see labs piano the labs glass piano by philip glass he is an american composer and ambient pianist world renowned fantastic pianist he has a personal baby grand piano that he writes pretty much everything through this is a extremely high fidelity sampling of that piano i'm always a sucker for free instruments and i love a good piano uh, i love the different textures and such of different pianos so i went ahead and downloaded this here is the player when you download uh, when you click this download button right here they download the spitfire plugin it is a very very user friendly plugin you can click on labs up here under my products labs there are a ton of free these everything you see right here are free instrument packs, okay? I have used them for some of my most popular songs. Absolutely free. It's an amazing, amazing entryway into just, I mean, orchestral stuff and just to get some amazing sound effects, some very unique uh, things. And the glass piano is the one. I've already installed it. I don't know why it's saying I haven't, probably because I haven't refreshed the app yet. But I have installed this and it is ready to go. So I just want to do some first impressions right here with it so i have it loaded up this is the labs uh or i guess spitfire's uh new player uh, it's been around a little while but it's their new player they're no longer using contact as their library source i believe it's who they were using before which is great because i personally can't stand contact i know i'm weird let's go ahead and load into this brand new glass piano there seems to be what is that one two three four five six seven presets i'm just going to play through each one starting with this one uh right here you can see it is called anthem let's see what it sounds like That's nice. That's really, really nice. For writing instrumental stuff, you have that nice ambient. This is just a great blending effect. Has a good distance to it, a really nice distance to it. Can really pull that reverb up. Let's just see what that kind of sounds like. I mean, it's almost synth, right? Let's go to flow. See what that guy sounds like. Yeah. That has a nice balance between the previous preset we were just listening to that had the more atmospheric sound. And this one has a really nice kind of um, more solid piano sound, but it could be really used. I feel like less uh, less articulation on this and kind of more just a, just a solid kind of like key bass would be really a good use for this. So you could kind of just kind of give, you know, just kind of some real nice. Yeah, that would lay down a really nice just kind of foundation for a song. 
I like that. It's a good simple, simple uh, effect there. Let's move on to the glass grand. So I assume this would be the uh, be like the default sounding grand piano, very all purpose. Uh, I, I'm really excited about this. I don't, I don't, I don't. To me, I'm a more of an upright piano guy personally. But there is a warmth that a grand has that's really good for, uh, you know, when you need that warmth for more ballady type stuff or stuff that's a little more mold together where you don't want the piano to stand out as much. So, you know, that said, I'll quit rambling. Let's just play something. Oh, uh, let's just get... I like it. I personally would want to crank this verb up on it because I like more of a room tone uh, with my piano. So let's see if I cranked this uh, reverb knob up here. I'm going to kind of cut, do the cutoff up a little bit higher. So I believe if I do this cutoff down. Yeah, so that's basically controlling your velocity threshold. So let's just see what this sounds like with a bit... Oh, there we go. We can control it. So if we click this middle console, so real quick, let's just go ahead and highlight this. If you click this middle console, you actually can change the tightness. So all the way here at zero, you got to... Or without the sustain pedal. Versus all the way up here at 1%. But I want to go here to this verb and really verb this out. I'm not using any secondary plugins, any kind of other thing. This is just straight from labs. So with a little more verb on this, let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like a basic uh, grand piano for free. It's fantastic. I like it better than a lot of the stock stuff that comes here in Logic. I mean, so no complaints. Now, the one I'm most excited about is this Glass Grand Soft. I'm really hoping what Spitfire did here was take some of what they did with their soft piano that is just one of my absolute favorite VSTs, free or paid, okay? And I'm hoping they kind of incorporated that a bit into this, uh, this Glass Grand. Uh, we're going to see what this sounds like. I'm either going to be extremely excited about this or maybe a little disappointed. I don't know. We're just going to leave it stock and we're going to see what she does here. was interesting is there like kind of like a loud humming almost yeah so there's an interesting uh, effect up here in the higher register which kind of comes and goes so a lot of these labs use the hammer you'll hear the hammer sounds and all that to give it that really warm vintage uh, sound they pulled that over from really it's popular with the uh, the firewood piano like I mentioned earlier I do hear a little bit of that pulled into the glass grand I like it uh, I'm, I wish there was a little more way of controlling it, to be honest, but it is a, a free thing, uh, and I, ex I don't expect him to just give away the house with that. So here's something else, too, about this. Uh, there is a type of reverb up here, and they have five different ones you can pick from. You have a spring, a stretched, an evolution, a plate, and a toasty. Real quick, I am just going to hop back into this grand so we can hear what each of those sounds like. 
We're going to crank that verb all the way up. Here's what the evolution sounds like. I'm just going to play one one uh, chord, just a G major on both of these, so you can hear what they sound like. So here is the evolution. Here is the spring. Here is the stretch. Here is the plate. And the toasty. Of those, I'm actually a pretty big fan of the spring and the stretched, if I'm being honest. I think I really like the, the stretched here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I really like the way it kind of echoes out that droning effect. So going down, we have two more here. Metamorphosis. And see what metamorphosis sounds like here. So that's a wild effect right there. Let's see what the lower register sound like there. Yeah, that could be really good for scoring. Let's see what happens if we give it a little more attack, where we can change that attack a little bit more. Well, that's interesting. Oh yeah. So as we pull that attack back, or that uh, yeah, that uh, that the, the different uh, threshold for attack there, we we kind of get those soft keys kind of coming in and almost like that trickling sound as we pull it out. Listen to that. Now that's wild. <laughs> that's wild. You can make some really cool evolving soundscapes with that. That is. So we get an attack and a release on this one. So we can pull that release way up, crank that attack down where we have a little bit more of it, really pull in that reverb. Listen to that. Yeah. That's something. So for doing textural stuff, for trying to create more of a soundscape, for doing uh, scenery, for, for video clips and stuff like that where you're trying to kind of get that that uh, ambient drone you could do some pretty cool stuff obviously some very eerie effects but i think you could even use this and do some less eerie stuff if we pull that attack down we pull that release down uh, i think we can kind of get some inspirational kind of vibes out of this too let's just kind of get let's get in here with like a d major chord a very inspirational sounding chord right in a world where everybody loves little debbie snack cakes there was one man who had a mission to help them all get healthy. All right. Well, there's my inspirational speech along with that to show you some ideas. Okay. North Star is our final one. Let's load into it right here. And we'll just go with that G again. Satellites, baby. See what happens now whenever we change that uh, velocity threshold. So we're just going to hit that G. So we get that very. Uh, oh, it seems like things start slowing down a bit.
I kind of like it. I really like the effects. To be really honest, I'm a bigger fan of the effects uh, that this is giving us than I am even just the grand piano. The grand piano is nice. I mean, but I mean, you know, it, it's a piano. Like it's, it's. Don't get me wrong. Like it's not a, not a bad plugin at all. All of that for free. That was my first take on the glass piano. Uh, part of the Labs collection by Spitfire Audio. Like I said, spitfireaudio.com. Go download Labs. Get all of their amazing, amazing tools. They're just there for you. They're at your disposal. Why not? Uh, and especially if you need a good, just neutral piano, I, I recommend this. I mean, there's a lot more expensive pianos that sound a lot worse. So I'm not going to sit here and dog on the glass piano. It's a great neutral ground for that baby grand sound. Also, the other effects that it comes with that they have that they have created around this piano stellar i will be using those in in some of my upcoming projects i love them as a matter of fact if you want to see something really quick just a quick little music snippet using three of my favorite presets there tap that up there and you can see just a quick little video of me throwing them together that i did right here live just for time's sake i kind of condensed it down a little bit so i made it into two different videos but go and get this plugin set Seriously, it's a free piano. Why wouldn't you? So that's my rant for today. If you enjoyed this, I would highly appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button. It does more to keep this show moving along than you could ever dream. Also, uh, I'm taking requests, so let me know in the comments what you want to see or, you know, what you like, what you dislike. I appreciate every one of you for stopping by, and until next time, go and create something awesome, because that's what we were designed to do. Cheers.